A new loco depot and signal box were built in Casino, and the station and sidings built in 1903 were renamed Old Casino. The local industry that had grown around the goods yard ensured they continued to be needed and Old Casino remained a hive of activity. It was the terminus for the famous mountain goat and all passenger trains on the Moolabar branch stop there. Then, in the mid-1970s, for the last time, the Gold Coast motor roll whistled out and Old Casino was closed as a station. Here now is a brief presentation on the foundation of the Mwollambar Rail Corridor. The first European to survey the far north coastal region of New South Wales was Captain John Oxley, who took shelter in the mouth of the river he named the Tweed as he sailed north on a voyage of discovery for a suitable site for a new penal colony in 1823. The first settlers in the Northern Rivers region to come by ship were timber cutters, attracted by the great stands of cedar which were eagerly sought by builders in Sydney and overseas. Plans for railway to tap the North Coast region initially focused on a connection with the New England Plateau, where, during the 1880s, the Great Northern Railway was steadily advancing towards Tenterfield. As ever, there were divisions among the politicians and promoters of railway expansion. Some, perhaps more far-sighted, realised that a coastal link with Queensland was inevitable and that a graft into the Tweed Railway could form an integral part of that link. Isolated railways were not a common feature of the New South Wales government railway system. In 1890, the New South Wales Parliament Standing Committee on Public Works examined the whole proposal. The committee stated that The line is not put forward as a branch only or a feeder. It is part of an eventual trunk line from Queensland north of the Tweed to the Hunter. At present, the railway will act as a feeder to the Clarence and Richmond and Byron Bay. But it is regarded by the government as part of a contemplated trunk link. On April the 11th, 1891, the first set of soil was turned at Lismore on the construction of the Tweed Railway. On the 15th of May, 1894, the first official train ran from Lismore to Mullumbindi, but the remaining section through to Mwollambar was not completed until the 24th of December of the same year. Some 8,000 people turned out at the Lismore station for the running of that first train. The line west from Lismore to Casino was opened on the 9th of October, 1903. Over the following years, the Casino to Moolambar line saw a variety of goods and passenger trains. Just prior to 1973, the region was serviced by a mixed goods service and a two-car dead set, six days a week from Grafton. In 1973, the region was introduced to a passenger service from Sydney seven days a week, known as the Gold Coast Motor Rail, commonly called to the people of the region, the surf train. The 
The Moolumbar station alone in the first year of operation took 25,000 reservations and in 1980, seven years later, was taking a staggering 51,000 reservations, an increase of 26,000. This was an average increase in patronage of some 3,715 passengers per year. This train catered for some 856 passengers and cost $11 million a year to operate. Yet its annual financial return was $22.5 million, double what it was to operate. If the standard of this service was allowed to continue under the current tourism to the Gold Coast and the northern of his region, then there would be some 14,600 less vehicles on our roads each year as the two car carriers held 20 vehicles. In 1978, another service from Sydney was introduced in conjunction with the Gold Coast Motor Rail and was known as the Pacific Coast Overnight Express. This new service was introduced due to the motor rail service being so heavily booked. The service ran approximately one hour ahead of the motor rail, seven days a week, and would stop all stations from Casino to Mwilumbar. The Pacific Coast Overnight Express catered for some 750 passengers. The combination of both services catered for in excess of 1,600 passengers per day. Both of these trains were daylight services to the Northern Rivers and Gold Coast, to and from Sydney. In the early stages of 1990, both the Gold Coast Motor Rail and Pacific Coast Overnight Express were replaced with the next PT service from Sydney to Mwilumba. The XPT was first introduced to the region back in 1982 when it visited on a test run. This train was to be the elite in train travel but there were some hidden tricks in store. Firstly, the service timetable was altered to be a night service and would no longer cater for the communities of the Northern Rivers. Secondly, the seating capacity of the XPT is less than half of the motor rail, approximately 434 seats. So in effect, the patronage numbers from the former two services had dropped from 1,600 passengers per day to 434, less than a third of the original passenger capacity. In addition to these major changes, townships like Bangalore, Billy Nudgel, Burring Bar and Stoker Siding, which once enjoyed rail services, no longer did. On the 17th of May 2004, the last train service ran from Mwilumbar to Sydney, effectively leaving the region with no rail services at all.